What? I, I, are you planning to drive all the men crazy? Yeah, maybe the creator of this perfume exactly want us to do that. Hey guys, welcome to Hubert More. I'm Purvi and today I'm going to be reviewing Oud Bouquet by Mason Lancome and I am super super excited for this review. Oh, there's hair in my mouth. Before we get started, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up, comment, share, make sure you subscribe. Oh my god, I can't breathe. So talking about Oud Bouquet, this one is the older one. This one, like there's another one, there's a newer version of it, which I don't know if it's reformulated, but today I'm talking about the one in this particular package. So I have been very, very excited to get this perfume. Oh my goodness, this is like, wow. I've been wanting this perfume for two years and I finally got it and I'm here to give you a give you, a give you, give you an entire review of this perfume that I'm pretty sure you need in your life. Starting off with the packaging presentation. This is a tester bottle, so I don't have the outer cover, the outer cover of this. Like I have a tester box, so I don't have like the actual box that it comes in. But this is what the bottle looks like. The bottle still is the same. I love the pattern over here. It is so beautiful. The juice color, as you can see, is dark red maroonish syrupy in color, which really gives you exactly what the fragrance inside has, which I'll let you know a little bit later. But looking at the bottle, I love it. It is super, super luxurious. I think this might be made up of, I don't know what it's made up of, like tin or so, I don't know, like metal or I don't know. But talking about the bottle design, I absolutely love it. Is there something that you don't love about what this is? No, no, no. This is beautiful. This is beautiful. Guys, I love this bottle design so much that that is what attracted me to purchase this perfume. That is what I was super, super amazed at. So I wanted to own this one so bad because of how beautiful this looks. And I'm pretty sure you can't deny that. So I love it. I love the bottle design. There's nothing to say about it. Moving on to the actual perfume, guys. This one is an Oud Rose. Oh my goodness, did I spray it all over you? If you don't know, guys, Oud and Rose is a very famous perfume note combination in perfumery. It has to be one of my absolute favorite combinations. I don't know what it is about Oud and Rose that just drives me absolutely crazy. I just want to own every single Oud and Rose perfume in this world. Talking about this particular Oud and Rose combination, this is a very, very, very intense, syrupy, sweet, jammy Oud and Rose combination. This is super, super sweet stuff. The rose in here, guys, is red rose. I love the red jammy rose that has been used over here. And that is exactly what it smells like. Guys, this one smells like a rose bouquet dipped in golden syrup. But that is mixed with this like sweet feminine oud it's not a masculine oud that you're gonna get in fragrances like latent exclusive something of that sort not really this one is for the girls out there for the girls out there and guys i forgot to mention that in the opening it has this distinctive boozy rum thing which again what? I, I, are you planning to drive all the men crazy? Yes, like maybe the creator of this perfume exactly wants us to do that, you know? Kill them. Kill all the men with this fragrance. On the dry down, guys, which I haven't heard a lot of people talk about, is a command element to this fragrance that I haven't heard. Again, I say, not a lot of people say. This one has a very sweet, yummy, delicious praline note at the bottom, which, guys, which, guys, is absolutely yummy. This can make you smell like a snack. Like, uh, not in a disgusting way, but like in a delicious, um, I just want to eat you. Because you smell like candy, and you smell like rose, and you smell seductive, and you smell sexy. I don't know what to do. Guys, this one just makes me feel like I am an Arabian princess, which I'm not, but I want to. Talking about the performance, Wait, okay, just wait right now. Let me just tell you, you do not have to worry about anything with this fragrance at least when it comes to performance. I love the way this leaves an intoxicating trail behind you. So that is everything you need to know right now, guys. Now let's head on over to my Pinterest board so that I can show you exactly, exactly, exactly what this makes me feel like hey guys so let's start with the overall vibe of this perfume i personally see this in an arabic arabian middle eastern 
everything of that sort is exactly the place where I see this. This is such, uh, if I say, I mean, don't mind me saying it's exotic. I say it like in a very, very good way, in a very positive way, because that is the vibe of this fragrance. It just takes me to the Middle East because of how intense it is. Um, it's, it's loud in a very luxurious way. And I also see this as like extremely, extremely rich. So as you can see, this hotel lobby somewhere I think in the Middle East one of those expensive AF hotels which you know you just get intimidated just walking into and that happened with me once uh, let's not talk about it but um, I also see this mostly as a very very because of how luxurious it is and because of how luxurious it makes me feel as I said Arabian princess anything related to bridal anything related to a bride like anything related to like over the top you know luxurious outfits this is such a good bridal perfume every time i think of oud and rose i just want to like get married or something because i want to wear the whole outfit there you go again sabya sachi now sabya sachi dresses really i don't know for some reason just look at that gorgeous chest. That is exactly what this perfume is all about. This is not for the faint of heart. I don't know if I mentioned that, but not at all. I just want to pop on a Sabya Sachi, even if I can't afford it. That is exactly what you want to do with this fragrance. You want to feel like a princess. And again, this one, I loved it. This is so beautiful. And I think all these pictures are from Indian marriages. I think they're Indian. I do see this more on like an Eastern sort of like uh, Indian bride or Arabic bride because the dresses are very loud so not something particularly uh, if you're from the US or any other place where you have those beautiful white wedding dresses not really for that occasion but you can just get the whole vibe because of how loud it is this is exactly where I see this and moving on to something that is a little more if you want to dress down a bit obviously because not everybody's getting married and we can't dress like we're royals um but i also see this perfume like if you're going to be wearing this i want you to wear something that is like i want to wear something that is flowy that has a that has a certain flow to it so something of this sort i think this is called a kaftan i don't know um and the whole middle eastern dress uh that really captures it i think it's a jumpsuit and on top of that there's a uh, kaftan thing which i don't know if i'm saying that right oh my god uh moving on this again the pants are flowy Chloe, I love the whole vibe of this picture. Now this again is a Middle Eastern dress. It's called an abaya and this one as well like really complements this perfume because I, I find abayas like so luxurious for some reason every time I went to like Dubai I saw people in them and they looked absolutely luxurious so um that was beautiful and where i see this perfume honestly the occasion for me would be date night now yeah i went straight from like wedding to date night which that's a complete contrast but just listen to me this is such a seductive perfume guys this is extremely nighttime wear this in a place that deserves it so i see this in this kind of a setting very very luxurious hotel um obviously not like an average date like a very luxurious um, you're gonna be you, you know in like a nice hotel I don't know what this place is but you get the vibe this again oh my goodness this is so beautiful I don't even know where this is but this is absolutely beautiful this is this is it guys this is it this is where you're gonna get is this is where you're gonna be proposed by that man because you're wearing this fragrance you he's gonna go like absolutely mad with this this is do like just trust me this is this is it this is the whole vibe of it and talking about the date night dress i just wanted to mention like obviously you, you can't be wearing like crazy dresses but i think with this fragrance sticking with this sort of a dress just like a body hugging black just simple black dress with like a red lip now where whichever shade of red i don't know but i would go for something of this sort like a dark dark red lipstick oh my goodness you're gonna be looking like a dream wearing this that that is that is it for me that is the vibe of this perfume for me and over here this again this again this again this again captures it for me let's talk about red lipstick i just mentioned how much i love it and this is exactly what i would recommend for this i would recommend like a blood red like really red deep red lipstick for this now i wore vixen by huda beauty if you're wondering in this video, but if you're the, if that's too vampy for you you can go for anything else but stick with the red oh my goodness it's just it just complements it so well talking about nails oh my goodness these are my favorite colors in fact i'm wearing <laughs> red nails as well 
in this video which i have worn red like red nails um since one month and they're just not coming off but i would recommend all these beautiful shades oh my goodness i love all of them i love it again red lipstick why is it coming in between i don't know um again red 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 nail polish red maroon dark and again like just to end this video i also think an ombre french manicure i think this is called ombre french nails oh my goodness this is super super beautiful this can go really well if you're somebody who doesn't want to go with red lipstick and that is it guys that is my whole vibe of this particular perfume oh my goodness this is beautiful stuff this is luxurious stuff this is it this is it you can drive him crazy with this so that is it for today's video thank you so much for watching guys if you did enjoy this video give it a big thumbs up and i will see you in my next fragrance review bye she calls me day and night i'm sorry girl, you just